Good evening. The Scottish Government's mounting a defence of the controversial assessments carried out on children in Primary 1, saying getting rid of them would be deeply irresponsible. Critics call them tests and want them scrapped. The Government's facing defeat in a vote at Holyrood on Wednesday. Here's our education correspondent, Jamie McIver. An eight-year-old girl has been seriously injured in a quad bike accident at a housing estate in Ayrshire. The Scottish Conservative leader Ruth Davidson has said she never wants to be Prime Minister because she values her mental health too much. The Glasgow School of Arts Macintosh building will be rebuilt after it was devastated by fire in June. Tennis Now and Cameron Norrie claimed the decisive victory as Britain won their Davis Cup tie. Weather now with Lucy Martin. Good evening. Generally cloudy skies to come as we move through tonight. Further showers for the Northern Isles, Western Isles, parts of Highland, Argyll and Butte. But it will be drier for eastern and southern Scotland with the possibility of a few clear spells. While we've got the clearer skies, it will allow the temperatures to fall into the single figures. Just holding on to double figures in the west with a touch more cloud. Tomorrow then, some early brightness for eastern and southern Scotland. We'll see outbreaks of rain spreading their way north through the day. I think tending to fizzle out for southern Scotland through the afternoon the wind strengthening through the day temperatures in the mid to high teens as we move through tomorrow night into Tuesday we'll see this area of low pressure pushing its way north in fact it's the remnants of Hurricane Helene and it brings with it the possibility of some strong winds for southern Scotland as such the Met Office do have a yellow weather warning in place those winds could bring some disruption for southern Scotland it's valid until eight o'clock in the morning on Tuesday Further windy and unsettled weather as we move through Tuesday and Wednesday. And that's Reporting Scotland for tonight. Our next update is during breakfast at 6.25 tomorrow morning with Sally McNair. Until then, from all of us here, good night and goodbye.